use this marker and I am going to put this string right here and then I'm just going to use this marker and go right around. Hi guys, welcome to Valerie and Vernon home. This is your first time here. My name is Valerie. Today we are outside in the garden because I am planning to do some covers for my coverless rain barrels, right? We live in the countryside and it's that time of the year when mosquitoes are breeding and this is a good host for mosquitoes because it's uncovered. So it's about time I get them covered. And so I want to show you guys how I make um, cover the covers for my rain barrel and i am actually i have a measuring tape here and i have some cord here what i'm going to do is use the cord to do the measurements that is going to give me um, how wide i need to cut or how big right i need to cut my circle i'm just going to make it simple and easy for you guys to understand and also to do right because actually what i'm going to do not only could you use it to cover a rain barrel but if you have a round like ottoman and you wanted to cover it you, you could also use um this method to make a cover and then staple it on or just use it as a slip cover for that round ottoman right and so the first thing i'm gonna do is go ahead and i'm gonna drop that there i'm gonna put a not on my thread because this is where I'm going to be measuring so to speak from so if you notice the rain barrel here it slopes up and so I don't want to use the measurement from the top here I want to take my string further down on this stout part here and so what I'm going to do is just put my string across the rail, rain barrel from maybe about an inch and a half two inches down and do the same on this side centering it on the rain barrel as much as possible or as best as possible then i am going to just take this up just like so i'm going to go ahead and i am going to cut my string Then I'm going to put a knot on the very end of the string. And this is all I need to cut my circle. You will see how this translates when we get back into the studio. But the next thing I want to decide is how far down I want my rain barrel slip cover to go. And so I'll measure from the top and i'm gonna measure i'm gonna make it about just about eight inches deep um just so that i can make sure i keep those little buggers out of the water and so yeah we have our string and we know we need our rain barrel slip cover to be eight inches deep so let's go on into the studio i have this piece of tarp left over so what we're going to do now is take our string and we are going to put the ends together and we're going to find out the half of the string then we are going to use this marker and i am going to put this string right here and then i'm just going to use this marker and go right around to make a circle it's a bit wrinkled but that's okay we'll get through it so what i'm gonna do right now is go ahead and cut the circle out so I'm just going to cut 
and leave the the line on the fabric now we need to cut a strip that's eight inches deep and in order to know how long to cut the strip what we're gonna do is just line up our cord on uh, our measuring tape my cord here um, measures 25.5 25.5 what i'm gonna do is take my 25.5 and then i'm just gonna multiply by three and three fives are 15 carry the one three fives are 15 and one 16 three twos are six and one seven that's 76.5 inches so my strip i'm just gonna cut a piece that is 77 inches by eight plus one nine because i have to do uh a double hem right so it's gonna be 77 inches by nine inches i am gonna go along this straight edge here to measure my 77 inches i am gonna measure here 77 inches okay it's better to measure longer than you need and then cut off the excess than to be too short right so now let's just cut this off because we don't need this edge Now I need nine inches deep. Do you know what? The deeper the merrier. And because I have this depth, I don't want to cut it off. I'm just going to use the whole thing and I'm going to cut it 13 inches deep. And that will include my double hem. 13 inches so i'm gonna get my measuring stick here and i'm just gonna start connecting these two dots and let's just use this to measure 13 inches And we're going to keep joining until we get to our 74 inches. Okay, so our 74 inches is right here. So I'm going to put my ruler there. I'm going to mark my 13 inches and connect. So now I'm going to join here, there we go, and I am going to cut out the panel.
yeah guys you know some things change as you go i think what i'm gonna do is leave this edge as my bottom edge so i don't have to do a flat stitch right and so i just need to get this off there we go and we're good yeah that's precisely what i'm doing here okay so i'll just cut this right here there we go so i already have a an edge that is flat stitched and i'm gonna go ahead and time lapse this now we are getting ready to stitch the panel and the circle together the one thing i would say to you guys is when you're doing something like this and you're using like a tarp material what you want to do is get either a 100% nylon thread or a 100% polyester thread don't use like a cotton thread so sorry guys <laughs> sometimes i turn off the camera for a reason and then i forget to turn it back on so i just realized that the camera was not turned on and i was stitching all along but now what I was trying to say to you <laughs> was that um, when or is that when you are stitching, you will have to take your time and stitch. Now, I prefer to put my circle down and then go along with the panel. If you prefer the reverse, then you can do the reverse. But I find this way to be the easier way to go. And so what I do is, as I go, I lay the panel down and I stitch. I lay it down and I stitch. When I get close back around, to where I'm meeting where I start I stop stitching then I bring my panel together I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stitch down the side of the panel and then I finish off stitching it to the circle and then I'll just do this and then I finish stitching from here to here. Now, if you are gonna try this, especially if you're working with material like the tarp I'm working here with, make sure that it is as flat as possible so you don't have any glitches it's the moment of truth guys it is now time to get this cover on this green barrel there we go wow it fits like a glove and i am happy that i did not cut this part off i instead used it as the bottom edge of the cover you can use this lesson to cover your chairs and your rain barrels and your ottomans thank you so much for being here guys i hope you enjoyed the lesson and i hope it was helpful to you in some way you take care now i will see you in the next lesson i appreciate you guys so much cheers